RTS Clips, a clip-sized content playlist that encloses experiences and stories of some of the most amazing intellectually sound people from different walks of life. You enjoy this particular clip and don't forget to check out the entire playlist. If you like it, please support us by sharing it. Now, without further ado, the guest is all yours. So how has your fear that was when you were starting your entrepreneurial journey and now the difference between the fear that you have when you are starting mm-hmm. something new, how that yeah. has been like completely different for you? Uh, it has very, very rightly said, Kushagra, that um, you know, fear always remains. Um, even, you know, 10 years in this journey, the fear is always there. And as you very rightly said again, that it is fear that helps you make wiser decisions and, uh, you know, also cover your basis to a lot of extent so you don't expose yourself to unnecessary risks. I think that's fear is what, you know, drives those, is motivating that. But yes, the way that you deal with fear changes over a period of time or rather, Kushak, what you term as fear or what you are fearful of, that changes over a period of time, right? So when we are starting out, I think we were afraid of when we read about some of our competitors raising, say, a huge fund, um, right? Or one of the you know people that we were targeting as our customer going ahead with our competitor. Those were the kind of things that we were very afraid of. We were, we were fearful of that. We were fearful of you know missing out on salary payments to the people that we had hired. How do we generate their salaries? How do we you know uh, always hoping that we don't miss out on those things? But gradually over a period of time, and as we said today, Kushagra, you know, when I read about my competitor getting funding or I read about someone else tying up with something else, I don't, I'm no longer scared of that or I'm no longer fearful of that because being in this space, you start to know or you start to read between the lines. You know that what you read is not what is in reality. There is a lot of things happening in the background, which maybe the startup media or the, you know, the general social media community misses out on. So you know that you know when you are in this, you know a lot of things which happen behind the scene. So you're no longer scared of that. You're no longer scared of the fact that, hey, look, if it's a $10 billion com- industry, I don't mind being the 10th largest in a $10 billion industry. I don't need to be the first. I don't need to be the largest. Point. So in a way, then what you're doing is you kind of filter yourself out to all this noise and you stop those noises affecting you and you're rather focused on what you are doing and you try to do that the best of your ability. Mm. But then certain fears always remain as you rightly said, uh, you know, it's fear about disappointing your customers, disappointing your investors, your team members, or not being able to lead your team successfully. I think those will always remain with us, Kushagra. But yes, there are a lot of things which you're fearful of 10 years back. You know, you just take it in a stride and say, hello, you know, I know the ground realities. So, um, mm. you know, I'll take that in a very different way than what someone who is outside the space might, you know, look at it and kind of interpret.